And on the other side of things, you've got G2. The likes of Nexa, very impressive in the in-game leadership role. It certainly sounds like Malik and him have done their homework coming into this one. They won't be caught out, to quote the coach of G2. Let's see how the pistol shapes up already. You can see a very passive line of sight, all opting for some headshots, but they can really swarm here. They're coming from pop, coming out main, already getting a good bit of ground covered. And it is just Kevlar Vest, Chad, so I guess they just want to brawl. Yeah, Jules are on the agenda here in Borat. Well, he's opened the account. And he's doing his best to hold them at bay at E-Box, but they're getting swarmed. They are, and already a goosh landed by Borat. That's sensational. Okay, next up, only the one on the P2K. Double for Borat already on his Glock, and you can see that Amanex angle is being defended by Nico. Oh, a chance. He crouched under the crosshair and will be overrun. Double kill so far for both of the stars of the show. Now, Mr. Hunter. Ooh does manage to make quick work of Tessus. Two more to find. Kit's around the corner as well, so he will have to go walk about. Oh my God. Shot. Hunter's hunting, oh. and he nearly gets it. Ooh. Nico saves the day for Heroic with a triple. That's what he had to. It was by necessity he gets three kills in the pistol. Hunter gave it a real good shot. Oh, that could have got awkward fast. And we will see the force by coming out. So I'm always excited when I see the scouts and the CZs, even a MP9 by my read. Nex is pulling that bad boy out early. Would you sound like a, I'm a straight shooter? I'd say you shoot relatively straight. Yeah, then, like, you know, I, I keep it pretty real. Yeah. Well, uh, look, let's not mince any words here. I think the difference in today's game is going to be the lack of Hunden when things get squirrely. A lot of overtime games for Heroic in the past against G2. Yeah. So I, I, don't wanna, I don't want people to be in, in, under any illusions. Of course, he would have been helping them in those scenarios with really good calls and reads. Yeah. So they're not going to have that today. That won't be available. Bear in mind, obviously, they have suffered losses since that moment to Ents and is it Argo as well? Yeah. So, so they're not in the best of spots right now, Heroic. They aren't quite the team that we saw at Cologne. They're in a different form here. So we could see a different result. We're not going to avoid the issue, but it's certainly going to be up to Heroic to prove what they can do with it. And right oh. now, this little crunch over by Ivy uh -oh. is becoming a real goddamn issue. Smoke down. They've got to leave the bomb for a second. They can't carry on anymore. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is the perfect potent map for it, isn't it? Look at this. The scouts hit a couple of shots. Your CZs are jiggly wiggly can get out of hand fast, especially when you've got some prime weapons, some prime real estate now having to concede it. The bomb is under CT control. Like, I don't know what Cadian's plan is to, re to regain it. It does seem like he's calling for assistance Ivy, and then they're going to have the loose cannon that is Nico trying to catch any backs turned. It will all be down to timing, though. The decision-making process is going to be a tough one. So they'll smoke onto the bomb. That's the perfect time for Nico to start walking. And Jax gets the info, and oh, great dink. dink. Now getting even more awkward for Heroic. I don't even know what they can do about this. They are in a nightmare. Frying pan fire. Nothing sounds particularly appealing. They'll have to re-smoke. Yeah, I don't know what they do, Lauren. They turn this corner, there's two CTs ready and waiting for them. One of them's even got an AK. Nico 1D down, and he oh. does swing out. The Nexus double. That's going to win them the round. G2, the second round of play. And it's Nexus 4K that pulls them across the line. Oh, look what they have now. Two AKs and a Galil. God, and they haven't even spent a penny yet. That is such a big swing round. Pretty nice upgrade right there. And one thing I just want to note in this late round, as the clock hit 22 seconds and the smoke was on the left side of Ivy, you can see that all three players have positioned Ooh. themselves to hold bomb and the bomb train, knowing that the only way for them to plant the bomb was going sunny side. So that's why they could take that gamble. There's always a chance, there's always a risk, but the round would probably have not been won if Heroic were to go in that fashion, offering up 1v1 jewels. They were forced by back of their own, and Cadian with the scout over towards Ivy will be the first port of call. Well, maybe not so much now. This nade could be perfect. Uh, was Seven a little short of, of perfect, but we'll we'll take Seven it. Seven out of ten. We'll, it, well, you know, a, a little golf clap at the end. It's it's all good. Jax, I want to see Jax get going because I he was definitely not on my radar until you guys. You know, you're harping on about him. Yucky all boy. All right, all right. And then I saw the aim start coming through. That guy can can absolutely. Uh, pop off, yeah. So we'll see if the T's can do much damage. They are in a position where they could. Stown's going to find Amanek. That's the goer. So they've got a little bit of room to play with here. The CT's feeling a little boxed in, but Hunter finds him a little bit of room. Still very much viable in this round, but they are being surrounded. Oof. Four up towards Hunter. And suddenly, it's looking deadly. Welcome to Force by Wars. It's not impossible for Kenny and Nexa here. It would require Kenny to contribute and borrow forces the fight. Still, it's all Nexa. He's tried his best. It won't 
be anyone else next to having to do it all for his squad. He needs to ace clutch just to keep going. But unfortunately, he's tagged down by the scout. And Cadian Wolves connect another bullet. So they'll go and recover their weapons. Just going to the Counter-Strike charity shop. Everyone's handing it in. <laughs> 1500, double eco territory for Amanek. And so they will force. <laughs> so you, you said force by wars. Uh, yeah, baby. Again. Who's gonna, who's gonna ready? hit the brakes first in this Counter Strike virtual game of chicken? <laughs> it really is. Like, you know, as I said, who breaks first in this or who veers away? We'll see. I mean, it was beautifully done by Heroic. It, it, <laughs> this is the thing. It's it's where is this team at mentally is, is the big question. We'll find out, I'm sure, is the. Season carries on. CTs, though, let's look across the board as to where they're sitting. You heard that. That was beautifully, beautifully done. Nice thing in there. Um, stacked up towards B for now. Three players, very, very present. Maybe expecting a little bit more, but nothing to be seen as yet. T's taking their time. Still got utils. Just about putting down the mollies. Heading out towards, you know, E-Box. A couple of lines now being filtered through. Oh, Nex is taking so much space. Kenny can rotate in a... Hunter boosted up. It's all very promising for G2, but don't forget the weapons they have in their hands. It still should favor Heroic. And X is going all the way around the world. Is he going for the main flank with the SMG? Leaping down, Hunter's gone down, and unfortunately, it doesn't matter how good of a flank that would have been, Next, uh, he's lost his teammates a little too early into the piece. Kenny does meet Borup's UMP. And yeah, this is uh, not ideal, unfortunately. He had a great opportunity to catch a couple off guard now it could become something else i mean obviously he wants to maintain his armor and his mp9 but he'd love an ak-47 if anyone gets a little too inquisitive towards main that should be the conversion he so seeks <laughs> there have been none of it they go in the absolute other way out by the old bomb train they go down towards ct spawn no threats, no guns, no nothing for next. So that could have been nice if you got a little upgrade. It would have probably been uh, a little bit different going forward. But as we said, double eco for a couple of these players is going to be pretty brutal. So this could be a nice little bit of room for Heroic to stretch their legs on the T side. So it looks like we can have a look to see what the CTs do, if anything. See a Zeus. That's about it for now. Wow! <laughs> Uh, it's coming this round. I've already seen the future. That's the noise that happens with the Zeus kill that Hunter's oh. saying it's coming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we just have a Hunter POV? Please? Welcome to Thank the you. Hunter Zeus cam. He's going pop dog with that. He's going flying up the ladder. Sponge assured as well. Just... Huh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so just this eco here is. Uh, I did go to get a coffee over the last round, so I missed. Uh, was it a clean one? Who said it was a clean one? It was, um, for lack of a better word, clean. I Next, mean, uh, um, was the only one left standing by the time they got the bomb down. He's done a dank flank. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm caught up. I'm back in the room. Welcome. Sorry for my um, tardiness. Can I ask real quick, yeah. Chad, where, when do we get rushed to cast and you observe? Was that ever, like, fleshed out of an idea or not really? Well, Alex didn't like it. He said he wouldn't, he wouldn't like that. He's going to have to fight Rush on the desk. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's that was, entertainment. That was the joke. Yeah. I mean, we're going to fight physically. Um, yeah. well, when let me let me have a look. I think we should do it on our next double day. On the doubles. On the next right, double right. day. So for us, that will be Thursday. Mm. Um, and I, I suppose it's better if we do it in the morning with the morning game. Okay. Because there's a great little um, joke here. Actually, never mind. I thought it was an eco. Turning around, putting that one in the pocket for later. Save it. I'm excited for it though. Yeah, it's a it's a two parter. So oh, you'll be got playing one role. I'll be playing the other role. Love, oh, I like the sound. Love this, RP. This, is, this yeah. is great. Love a bit of role play. Hunter and Amanek aren't loving having SMGs, though, within the early stages of the CT side buy. So we'll have a UMP and a MP7, respectively, coming on out with a little bit of utility tucked in behind it. One diffuse kit in play. This is looking a little aggy here. Oh, they are. Look at him go. He wants to just descend down that ramp, and here comes trouble. Nice control from Kenny, but stopping the lion's share of the descent. The bomb, why is Borup not willing to cross? Okay, getting me nervous a little bit, and his teammate oh. may have blocked the molly. They both fly through the sky, one extinguished, one not. Burning away, now you can hear it toasting the toes of oh. Kenny, down to 20. The bomb will go down. Gosh, down's low too. This is getting awkward, they're all clustered in. I think Stan with his low HP has to take a risk, but they're waiting for it. Now he gets the flash, oh, I love that. It's not over yet though, far from it. Bomb down. Cadian lingering by the edge of the smoke. Borup responsible for the flank. This is doable. But another flash. 
and it's Kenny's that's caught Jacks in the spray. Oh, this is awkward. Real not pretty from the French. It was a French trio left to clutch, and it seems that even then, miscommunication has cost them. So you'll be playing the therapist role. <laughs> and I'll be the me. Okay. Can I, I'm just going to quickly skybox something, and then you guys can be your, 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 yeah, your little role it. play. Um, it so I can, yeah. yeah. So we're going to bring this one up for everybody playing at home. I, I just want to show you the importance of this flash that we saw come through and how absolutely clutch that is. So you can see here on your screen, this is connector. You've got Stan walking in. The flash was from Burrup on the bomb train. So just want to draw this for you. Burrup all the way back here, setting his teammate up. You can see the flash landing. And as it pushes down, is able to get a massive kill. And that really stifles this retake. So great team play. And that's something we were highlighting with Heroic throughout. And that was brought to you by America's Navy. Let's get back underway. And it's not even absent of any, you know, um, and it's absent Hunden was the point I was trying to make. Yeah. Any back on that. AWP. Really the only weapon they've got going for them, but they're opting yeah. for an inner hit. Now, I wonder if Nexus is going to be once bitten, twice shy. Hasn't panicked with any incendiary, so all good so far. Just pull Kenny early, though, just to check for any brown holes hijinks. Yeah, T side keeping their distance. Nothing to really catch Kenny's eye. I wonder if Nexus goes anywhere further if he's feeling like he wants to have a look if he gets tempted curious but no he's very patient keep in mind the bomb's way in the back it's not really an intention here yeah and i kind of like it I, it is going to be problematic if almanac gets really Ooh. fruity with the push but he hasn't because that bomb is just around the Whose corner job is it to get the bomb i assume well with cadian's posturing it, yeah. will, it will be him but yeah it is a little a little, a little scary could have been much more disastrous. Amanek still has the chance to gather that information. That bar up down to pop now. And that's the bomb retrieval after his smoke. Flashing his teammates in. Two CTs tucked into main. That could be problematic. If Cadian opts for main with the bomb. <gasps> okay, they get the info at least. Jax is blowing off heads. My goodness. From Sandwich. And now another two. Oh. Quick flurries of frags all over the map. Puts down into dire straits. He's only got 20 seconds. The bomb's in main. This one's over. Nexa could finish it, but it's Kenny to do it. And just like that, G2 with four still standing. Do catch heroic slipping. Look at these shots. He actually gets to miss the first. They're so preoccupied with main. It was Hunter's jiggle to bait Jax in. Good shooting. Well, the low buy has been a successful recipe for G2 in two rounds so far, and that's the only two that they've posted. So now that we've got the guns back out, everything that they could ever ask for, or was it ever wanted as the Billie Eilish song, either way. Cadian with the AWP looking towards stop. Not too many deep nades being used. They don't appear to want to clear on out, but they will lob one through. And a bit of damage done. It's a flash and they're just going out on one. That's it. Okay. Ooh. Uh, risky business. On the other side, of course, comfy. Amalek's happy with this one. Molly does very little to obscure anything. He's got the bomb well within sight. He's got support. A beautiful line as Nikos tries oh. to penetrate the defense. Not gonna happen. Nexa keeps control as we're down to two, and they sadly have zero territory across the map, so everything is a potential threat. Yeah, they tried to isolate Pop and the Ivy lanes with their smokes there, but the problem was that as they jumped out main, well, they had isolated a couple, but the shots didn't land their way. The flashes weren't good enough to completely blind up the G2 players forced forward in the yard of Jackson Amanek. And now look at Jax's flank. He's taken the space away from them. Cadian is waiting. Might want to hold on to this AWP and will get the feet of Jax if he wants to push forward. Now, on the CT side with aggression, it's always good to take away as much space as you can. But what you need to remember is there's pushing and then there's pushing to contain. If they want to go for the chase, well, they have to deal with Cadian. And that's double kill that may incite them to uh, continue to save deeper into the inner site. Looks like they might be allowed to hold on to these ones. Amanek deterred by the smoke. Nobody's in arm's reach. A pop dog locked down after the initial hunt. But this is G2 now stringing together two rounds in a row. Those consecutive rounds will start to whittle away at that T-Bank account. Plenty more cash to splash for Cadian and Borup. 
but this is Trijax twice in a row, dealing with their initial aggressions. It was, uh, it was Deagle first, and everyone getting a necessary contribution there on the eyebrow-raising attempt. It seemed like Chad and Lauren were a little um, confused. I, I felt that there might have been a bit more of a follow-through on it, but they were just trying to take advantage of the players out of position. You know, we were talking the other day, you get the initial smokes over, and then you wait, and then you send that through on the flash when you think it's just a fake. Well, here they just went for simple smokes to isolate with the flashes over, hoping they could take that territory. It wasn't to be, but they saved those guns. They were able to drop across a couple more. And let's see if they can bounce back with anything a little bit more decisive off the bat. We know that they could just go for one of those fast inner plays before. Nex has been kept on his toes in the early stages. Farrup's got his window open. It looks it looks a bit windy it's today. Crazy. And Nico's had his nice fresh trim. Yes, a one shirt on right there. Represent. Which where was that one from? Um, probably DSL One Store. Uh, no, I think that's from a. Anyway. I think I win that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's done one. you. He's absolutely done you. Uh, Underhand the needy. This is what they did before, right? They just went straight inside and took down Nexer, and here they go again. They know he plays close. This time he has to respect it. It's already forced to rotation. Kenny. Oh, dear. Okay. Down. Down out of nowhere. Catches the push through Ivy, so happy with that. What a, what a freebie. Oh, God, there's so many things you could do with Stown. I just, I just remembered that there was a wrestling federation member known as Stone Cold's Steve Austin. Austin. Mm -hmm. I need to look up his wrestling moves. <laughs> Not now, obviously, guys. We're taking, <laughs> our, we're taking our job seriously. Yeah. And Nico, he's taking his seriously. He's containing this push. And oh, oh, a nice no. little wide move from Nexa. Keeps him in a real nasty situation. It's enough to deter and confirm the Brown Halls is safe. Out Borough goes. Wow, he's taking some liberties here. Yeah, catches him just as the smoke blooms. That's a big frag. Only three remain for the international squad. G2 Samurai looking a little sketchy here. Bombs down from Cadian. Bomb has been planted. Difficult retake. Yeah, I don't know what you can do here. What? Oh, nothing now. Oh, yeah. Feels all but over. Kenny's trying to keep it looking competitive, but I think we know how this one kind of ends up. And Kenny gets to walk over the AWP again. I feel like he's had it for a couple of rounds. Hasn't been... <sighs> under too much strain but again this is heroic not looking too bad now this obviously was heroic's pick so you'd imagine they'd be looking somewhat good on the t side the thing we do consider and we question at least at the very start was do they have the depths to adjust anymore without the overarching voice of mm. the coach do they have that ability to adjust if required haven't if, had to yet yeah precisely and so that's another question we'll be asking of g2 kenny and Nexa. Oh, oh goodness okay <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a <laughs> symphony of oohs and ahs. Panic. Yeah, let's see this from Borup, because look at that. He sees one going backtrack, steadies his aim for the oh, jack God. frag. That ah, that 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 ooh, that ah, is that's how Kenny feels in that moment. Ooh. You know? Like, ah. Ah, Just a little bit. Come back. Mm -hmm. All right, well, the bye, it can continue. The saved guns, Kenny only dying four times in the nine rounds so far, it means that that AWP has been hold, held on to time after time. Time after time, charging. Oh, oh Kenny, you have 360 in survival there. It's fair play, but they're charging up Ivy. And poor old Hunter's oh, got a lot to do here. What is this pace switch up? And my word, they're getting some uh, gifted starts in this. Nexa trying to be the end of the line. And what is this round? I, it, it's a 1v2 now. Win and they're, they're facing, and he's winning. Borup was one of the players who's been noted to have that spicy aim in these scenarios, but Nexus just slithers away into the night. He's been unspotted. Borup now wants to get that plant, maybe oh, considering, can I tip this in my favor? A flash and a nade, and now Nexa to be called upon. This was a open and shut case. Two first kills going heroics way. Nexa did never bow. And now he's going the right route to find Borup. This will not be easy. Does have a kit, doesn't have to faff around there. There's plenty of lung all over the site. A fake certainly would enable him to draw this fight to him. He's got a smoke as well. Does he hold it? Or is the smoke enough? I think he thinks the latter. Oh, is there a nade on nade. Borup? 47 damage required. He's holding it, and he finds it. Nice work. Borup deals with the defuse, and the clutch is not to be. Heroic do convert a spectacular start. And you can see what that's done to the CT economy. Kenny, yes, yes, his survivals and saves have given him quite the bank, but not the same. 
<sighs> For those people wondering, by the way, Chad, it's probably worth explaining why we saw both Orpus fire their shot and then turn around in order to bolt their rifle. Sure, making themselves a little bit harder to hit, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, you're turning your head, you're turning your body away, you're the making yourself... Hitbox is changing uh, yeah. much, much differently to how it would normally. Can I... Can I Rush, you, you with us, my friend? Yeah, what up, dude? Now, you were trying to show us the bow up smoke, weren't you? Yeah, bow up. I've never seen anyone throw that smoke before. It's kind of nice. Yeah, so uh, you, why do you think they were doing that? Uh, to feign that there was someone towards the, um, whatever you call it, connector. Yeah. And then there was no one connector. Also to help extinguish that Molotov if they do want to go for exactly, a fast yes. play out there. So, Rush, you've nailed it there. I'm going to give you a gold star on the Thank way home. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. It's an unhealthy friendship, isn't it? It's not normal. It's not normal. Gold stars, old doggy treats. Doesn't seem right to me. The positive reinforcement. Reinforcement. Lauren. Lauren. Chad had the clicker out before every time <laughs> Ru every time Rush misstepped. <laughs> hey! 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 Why did you sound like my grandmother with that thing? That was very, very on point. Oh, see you, Kenny. But, um, uh, this round is all but wrapped up, though. It's, it's a matter of can Kenny keep the orb, and that's going to be oh. question now. <laughs> Sorry about that one. A little anxious from Alex, yeah, I felt course. scared for him. The flash avoided. I think he's safe. Stan might jump on this thingy majig, which is what he was waiting for. Go on. Nice work from Kenny. Yes. Keeps his orb, grabs a sick frag and a relevant frag in the grand scheme of things, but it keeps his orb and keeps his confidence flowing in the right direction. Big timeout getting calls here. G2 need to turn this around. Seven to three is the scoreline. I do like the new G2 merch, by the way. Oh, yeah? Mm, it's quite nice, actually. Eight to three, sorry, not, not seven to three. It's a lot I don't want to get excited too early, but they did ask me for an address, so fingers crossed. Well, I think GG asked us for an address, and then they ghosted us, all right? So still, it's, They it's still not, not reached we, out. I'm used to being ghosted lately, Alex, all right? I'm we're just getting mad be, about it. We're not going to be in Malta for, like, forever, so... <sighs> Henry's there. Yeah, that's true. They, should, they, could get, they could get the cards over to Hank. Oh, it's hard to not make a joke. Don't do it. Don't oh. do it. As you can Gosh, see, why have you done that? <laughs> there's nothing I can say that I'm comfortable with. So we're getting <laughs> into the 12th round. This is good stuff, though, from Heroic, I've got to say. Right. I mean, we, we've seen some really good Counter-Strike. We haven't had to see that test that we were considering. That could be later in this series for now, oh, though. Nico. All looking great as Nico barrels through ahead of the Mollies, ahead of the Flash, oh. and are way ahead of where Jax would expect a player to be. Oh, That's yeah. going to be perfect. You cannot ask for a better beginning. Yeah, but what do you do with this? You really don't want to squander it with a quick orb return. And no, they do straight past Kenny. Nico doing his best and so down. He's actually got a lot of space now. Spray from Amanet could change things, but caught as well. Heroic looking fantastic on their map picks, T side. It's coordinated, communicative. And it's another round right here. Nexa's got a goose egg in the bank account. Not a physical egg from a goose, but. Zero dollars. The literal mines out there. Yeah, uh, I don't know how Nico got so much space. Obviously, we saw the utility in him just beeline it. I have to wait for next to see if he can hold on to his M4. It's been the game of saves here for G2. Remember, two of these three rounds they posted weren't even gun rounds. They were scrappy low buy rounds where individuals had to have some miraculous plays. Next to being one of them, he had four in the first round they posted on the board. And right now, just trying to hold on to the M4A4. Run down by two, eventually traded out by Nico. So they've taken that away. Kenny has 7.9. He's been doing a lot of saving. The rest of them, not with a lot of money. Maybe another timeout from G2. I, I know that it's it's not ideal. Um, I know that you don't want to be throwing them away so flippantly, but they're running out of rounds. And we spoke about this in the previous series with the blowout harms we had from both sides of things. Eventually on the CT side, you do just have to start buying. You have to be forcing. You go the scouts, the UMPs, the famuses. Taking a couple more risks. Kadian's enjoying himself. He's, He's having a good to. time. He's having a chat. Chatting to his boys. All four of them. Look at the kill distribution. Very little separating top from bottom. It's up on your screens now. Over on the heroic side of things. And you can see it's bigger. Frag leader on the server it was next as heroics that did actually help G2 in translating a couple of those rounds. He nearly had the clutch, which would have been the fourth. We're just waiting for Nexa to return uh, to a to a communication application, I believe. Ah, communication application, so that they could continue to station their defence. Mm, precisely, my dear Watson. It's not your finest. I didn't 
really think it was a thing, Lauren. I just was happy oh. to rhyme communication with station. You're quite good with Okay, that. so look, we're on train. If I was actually thinking, okay, you could have done go more. On. I'm not... No, no. Come on, you're good at this. This is where you make a little bit As the though. train pulls so out of the station. I'm so sick of these slam poems from that stupid <laughs> machine, boy. Just <laughs> talk about the game. God forbid. The nuke, though, does come down. Are they bad, that one? Put back through. Very funny, Chad. I see you connected the map with the word I said. <laughs> Very good. Counter strike, good. <laughs> Joke, bad. Three <laughs> times. Oh, Chad, that was that was that was solid. I've got loads of them. I could do them all right now if you if you want. Like all the train silly. Yeah, go on, Chad. Not right now. It's going to be an inner hit, and there's a five-man stack. Yeah, so this but could get naughty. Tied in, tied in. All right, let's see if he can conduct business on train. Not quite, but there's light at the end of the tunnel for G2 here. And now, looking to stay on track is Nico. Gets doubled, maybe even a triple in the flashbang. That is a beautiful way back into the round. And now, pulling up to the station. It's going to be Kenny, yes, but he's missed his train. And by the oil is Jax looking for a slippery dig. Doesn't quite find it. Now, Bomb will likely go down. It hasn't been picked up. That was Nico's responsibility. Stounds on the flank. He wants a stab. And just like any British train station, there's a stabbing. 10 for 3. Thank you very much, Alex. Uh, chat, can we clip it? Get it on Reddit? Make us feel good about ourselves? Comments. No, no, uh, absolutely. Know, really just hype it up. Really nonsense. emphasize the nonsense we say. Just kind of pre-made phrases. If you could. Just a walking yeah, soundboard. Heroic punch oh, was in that one, didn't they? There he is. Nice. I'm like two sips into this coffee, so the brain's coming back online. Mine's gone <laughs> at the moment. Aren't you? I found the new theory with the, with, if you do a cappuccino, Lauren, turn down the amount right. of froth. I know you're a cap fan. Poor Alex Richardson hey, signing out now. He's in now. He's turn down the out. amount of froth and it makes it quicker. Sorry. All right, well, the milk, it's the milk. Lauren, have you not considered turning down the froth? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> No, but seriously, I mean, no. Love. Uh, no. oh, oh. 10 to 3 now. <laughs> That's weird. Day 7. Oh, I feel very warm. Only day 7. Day 7. I feel like I've been here for longer than 7 days, you have. How long have I been alone. here? How long was that? This is week 4. <laughs> week 4 of it's the... Week, it, it's not the end of week 4, it's just the beginning. <gasps> start, of the start of our fourth week here. <laughs> 19 Man, more to go. Sitting in no, now. No, only five more weeks to go. Okay, reasonable. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. I, do it. I love a bit nice of Counter-Strike. And the yeah. day off makes it... I'm feeling more energised today, guys. I had a day to do whatever I wanted. It really was Aww. very liberating. I watched some movies. I had yeah. a great time. I watched I Am Mother about a robot pretending to be someone's mum. Yeah, it was, it's like it was I wild. Robot, but... It was good, it's not. good. And speaking Ooh. of what could be good is the outcome... Ooh, Lamanek. That could have been that could have been quite spicy, but Stown's not moving. They're holding this with all the nade, all the util. Mm -hmm. Stown's walking through it. Yeah, he's held the element of surprise here because the the timing may have been askew if he continued to walk out. But at this point, he's just going to be happy to post up here. There's, there's always the possibility for the CT flash retake. That's not coming in just yet. We've got two players in us, so this would be a perfect time for the heroic Ivy presence to start finding frags. Kenny posted up on Ivy though, like a hawk. And he's hoping that the main smoke might incite a little look from Stown. Nexa, considering the push for info, you can see Heroic's default is very, very vigilant. You won't give the CTs too much as Nico's making all that noise above pop as he's throwing his nades down, his mollies. He's hoping Nexa's going to be calling for a push. And that's Tessis' responsibility. But Amanek for now, look at them just flirting with the ladder. Oh, and they nearly go. It both went down there. Nice jump off the ladder, though, to separate his crosshair and his targets. And Kenny does release the bomb, though, from Borup's cold, dead hands. And here comes the flank. This round's over. Look at that. Cadian and Stan, what can you do? Okay. Perhaps some room to maneuver, oh. but Jax can ensures the round is over. The bomb too detached, too far gone. And Cadian's just going to look to maintain. Job done. Job oh. done. Hmm. Where's that from? Alex? Is that from Warcraft that's, 3? Um, that's the Orc Peon. In Warcraft 3, yeah. Hearthstone, uh, maybe? Maybe. Wild of, War I can't. Wild of Warcraft. Wild of Warcraft. <laughs> that's Deutsch? I think Wild is Wild. No, Wild. it's not. It can't be. That would have been a weird one. What was Wienerwald when we had that Wiener chicken Wald. fight? Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, damn. I have no idea what I just know Wienerstrasse exists as well. Yeah. I mean, as a... As a some a grown man with the sense of humor <laughs> of a 13 year old boy it's perfect for me yeah and i mean don't forget that exit is ab fart i mean come on <laughs> you can't forget it 
Jack's going for walkabouts. Molly early from the T side. Entices the Molly back. The exchange of util here, always curious between these two. Oh, again, the totem drop. They've been doing it side by side more so than the two-man fall. Things have been looking good for Heroic on that side of the map. And oh, things are so getting better. Good. Yeah, really well coordinated. The way they're taking Pop Dogs worked wonderfully for them. And that's a colossal lineup. Collateral from Kenny. And he's found a third as well. Quick succession. Borup's the only one to find any sort of consolation. And it's through the flames. A two on two. Time on the side of Heroic. They don't need to rush this. And now you can see the utility enabling a safer plant. Kaney on for an ace. Nico always on pace. He's right there beside him. Oh. That tight line being held by Kadian, it, it would have bore fruit had oh. Kenny been opting for the tighter line. But Nexus there too. And Nexus, oh, the timing. Ooh, quick reactions from Kadian, but not quite precise enough. Nico needs the Orpa dead. And now looking to Nexa. The spray was close. Down to 48. It's a 10-5 half, folks. And that's 10 key rounds on Heroic's map. Pick its defense on train up next. We'll take a quick one. We'll be right back. And we're back from the break. Thank you for joining us here today. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Heroic versus G2, the semi-final rematch from ESL1 Cologne. 
And well, revenge was meant to be on the menu. G2 haven't served it up quite yet. Yeah, they say right. revenge is a dish best served cold, but Heroic have come in hot to the first half. There's no doubt about it. We use jump into our pistol, myself, Sponge, and Pansy, otherwise known as Y Snap. I'm doing Foley. Okay. Shut out my Steam name. Is that a game sound or am I going no, crazy? No, no, you're not going crazy. I'm doing, right. I'm doing okay. Foley right now. Okay. That's good. I'll do the shots. No one's shooting anything, actually, at the moment. Amalek's got such good access to that oh. backtracks. And... Wow, Chad, that sounds so good. It actually sounds like a train. Oh my god. Why is he doing that? He's not even moving. Wait, his even lips. the nade? Yo, Chad. Wait. Bills to pay the bills, but this is actually a ridiculous pistol. Look at this, guys. This what? is insane. Like, I actually have never seen this before. No, the old rapperoo. No no, 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 no. The worst thing is if this goes wrong, it'll all be yeah, for but, nothing, but, but it's no, but gorgeous. Can you even see? No one's home. No one's fired any bullets. No one's turned around. I'm a, watch this. This is going to be ridiculous. Borup goes down. We still can't quite hear it. That's hilarious. But Borup does go down. And now look at this one. Nico just presents his bottom. Oh, it's a disaster. It's an absolute massacre. The bomb does get Wait. stopped. And Cadian stops the whole thing. Bomb down, frag down onto Amanek. And now catching bullets as well. Cadian survival is integral here. He does go down eventually. Tessus has come up the ladder a little late. And it is Hunter oh. to confirm it. What a pistol round that was. I mean, as discombobulating as it may be to have intermittent game sound, it must have been so discombobulating for Heroic as soon as that first bullet started getting fired. That was wild. That was insane that they didn't have anybody caretaking Ivy in that regard. I mean, we're going to try and wow. watch that back on yeah. the side of things for Skybox just to see if there was a, a clear gap that came on through here. But there's just nobody looking Ivy. Like That's it. That's it. Just nobody looked Ivy. I, I don't understand. What? I, I really don't understand. Maybe that was just uh, a gap they don't often have to fill at the start of a round and it was exploited this time around. It's quite curious, isn't it? But Eagles and a scout. Very powerful mix. We talked about that a lot. Certainly did. Now, what can they make of this? Can they bring them to the position where they can do some damage? There are a lot of smokes there, a lot of armor, of course. A grenade too. Now, the T's weren't subtle about getting here. They've kind of left Nexa. Hunter on the old changing of the guard. These three heading right back around. All the way down to Ivy. Maybe they've found something that they feel they can work with here because, I mean, you do have Stown watching it, but tucked in towards sight. Not very proactive in hold. And I guess you've got to gamble it a little bit, make something. What's Nico and Borup set up? There you go, they're on, are they on each other's head, or, ooh, good catch. Double nades into the pop dog position. Hunter wants us down here. Whoa, good clear. Good shot. Expecting the second. Coming from that backtracks again, they've been caught out. Good connect on the scout. Misses his second, doesn't make the same mistake a third time. Oh. Eventually, Jax is the one to take him down. So it does fall to Nico. Far from ideal. So do you remember the story that I was painting over there on Inferno with the Force Buy from Godsend and then they lost it and they went to the first gun round and they weren't fully equipped and then they lost that one and then the game spiraled and it was close? Well, the same thing can happen right here. There's no reason that G2 can't bounce back in. Oh, that's quite nice. Look at what you see next with the camera angle. He's got all these goodies on top of the little draw, pictures with some loved ones. He has a family, a life. Wow. Anyway, the point here is now we're going to have to see Heroic go for an eco. And Zeus is going to be out in the hands of Cadian. Let's see if he can get tucked on in anywhere and use that better than what Hunter did. He's actually close to low ramp, so he might get a chance to use this here. Hold up a second. Impression. Ah! Lawless. <laughs> Can't tell the difference, can you? No, I actually, I mean, I thought they muted the game sound again. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, right now. They do have the opening frag. They do have a Mac 10, but Hunter has a lot of room as the rotation is coming through the back tracks. This time, Heroic are making sure they cover that off, not giving it up to Amanek. <laughs> yeah, this time around. I, I've seen Hunter opting for the MP7 many a time. It seems like he it's wants to expect this. demonstrate his ability with it. But yeah, that's the end How of is that. This so dangerous. I, I mean, we've got rifles out, full util. There's just a lot of players untradeable. Oh, Dink into Kenny yeah. with a quick reaction flick from him. But that dink can be translated quite quickly here. Certainly. Gonna fall to Nexa, and he realizes you can see him just dumping his util to try and contest. I like the boost too. Cadian in a position to try and 
Isolate. Next. Uh, that was the full health. My God. Not with the eco. Kenny's so low. This is a real eco. This is a real, real eco. I mean, Zeus is, and not much more. Kenny oh, overwhelmed. No. This is truly a disaster. It doesn't normally happen this way. Mad spray comes out from Amanek, but tragedy strikes for G2. That's embarrassing. Oh, gosh, yes. Hot under the new G2 Esports jersey collar. That's a real rough one. Let's see how that starts. So the Zeus kill, you know, we were we, we thought that would be the only contribution, the only conversation to be had about Heroic in this round. But you can see they played it to perfection in those off angles. G2 going for a couple of completely untradeable frags. Hunter going on that hunt with the MP7. Of course, by staying grouped, they enabled to overwhelm him without things going awry. That's a, a huge win. And now you can see what that's done to the G2 economy. They're charging in a two Mac 10s. Nico's got a perfectly timed incendiary. They're gonna go through that. And he's got to find the heads. Oh my God, Nico. It's all of them. Four in quick succession. Cadian sprinkling in one for good measure. And that is a turn of the tide. This is gonna be heroic. Running at full pelt to that 16th. They're at 12 already. And look at C, Nico. As they extinguish that molly, he tracks Amanek's head so well, and he doesn't have a single bullet to spare as the final frag does come in. Magnificent. Oh, no. That uh, really is not the way G2 needed that one to go down. I can't believe this all started with a Zeus in the hands of Katie, and then the last two rounds have just been absolutely catastrophic. Well, let's have a look here. Can Amanek make it work in the <laughs> same regard? No, he can't. So here's Zeus. It goes awry, and, well... This looks like a heroic map written all over it. It's going to be difficult to see how G2 can get back into train. They will be most likely giving up round number 20, and that'd be 13 on the board for heroic as they will posture up to a 13-7 lead. These deagles, they, they can pry open a site, right? They can mm -hmm. find an opening, but uh, the way that we've been talking about heroic, they're very good fundamentally. It doesn't feel like they give up too many of those style advantages. And with the setup that we're seeing right here, they have two players towards that inner bomb site. I have good little support network for Ivy. Gadian can flick between Pop Dog, Main, and the aforementioned Ivy Lane, which is where Stown is holding. They can all help each other. This is a great little setup. Well, Nico last time did it all by himself. This time he's got support for up. Not as clean as before, but there it is. Mm -hmm. um, nice bit of recovery at the end, just in case it got a little too dicey. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense for an anti eco setup, right? Like you. If you get the kill on low ramp, you are probably going to be knifing out like, oh, we could get the planet off this, guys. Yep. Here we go. And then Borup's there to make sure your dreams are shattered quickly and efficiently. I'm just still perplexed by that bloody pistol around. <laughs> that was the start of this. I just, it's just wild. That was so crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. It was a little obscure, wasn't it? It's not, uh, it's not a normal one. I mean, we saw the, I mean, rolling it back, the wrapping around the old back of bomb train, but that was more of a willing to fight on well, Ivy rather than a, oh, it's free. But Nico's having a bit of a banger, isn't he? 22 for him, 18 for Cadian. We got 14 for Stown, 13 for Bar up and down the bottom there, Tessus with eight on the other side of things. Next is 17, Kenny S with 13 to the name. Uh, we got nine for Amanek, 11 for Hunter and eight for Jax. And it will be a buy round again. And Kenny and Naxa are both opting for Mac 10s. <laughs> Amanek as well. It's three Mac 10s. Two AK-47s. Kenny and Nex are yet to fully buy into utility. How many MAC-10s is that in German, Chan? Dry. Anchor. This is going to be a quick round. It has to be. They have to do something faster with these MAC-10s. Either straight out mid, try and get in their face, or better better yet, probably through inner again. That would be the best call with the MAC-10s. There you go. Okay, but last time this was a problem was because of the two-man setup. That won't be the case this time. So, Nico, you better be ready to handle this, sir. I think he suspects. Stown's got to have heard all of that as well. Calls it out. There's there's an absolute stampede coming your way, and there is. But let's keep going. Amanek's really pushing forward. He's trying to bring that SMG to the right place. And well, shoves up Kazian's nose. Can't get out of the molly. It's a bit of a, bit of a mad one. He's made a meal of that. That's, uh, high ramp, that's funny. Yeah, Nico has stick around this whole time. And now he finds Nexa. Good control of the spray. It looked like it had gone awry. Does nearly find Jax, but he's got the call at least. He's got flashes, wants to get them high, surely. Yep. Something to contain this potential flank. It's Hunter and support. And Borup's gone down. Hunter, what can you do? A nade and a peek. Oh my god, if Tessus goes down, he's got this. <gasps> It's the safe defuse. And it wasn't the perfect plan, of course, forced by Nico's incendiary. So it's probably worth highlighting that Nico kind of won that round for Heroic in a multitude of different ways. Not only the two kills or the 
the, the incendiary onto that default plant spot, force them to play differently, and that is a cute cat. Wait, where's the cat? Look All right. That, those big oh, boxing the gloves. Feet. Yeah, the feet. Oh, it's got a little beat. What's this from Amanek? I love it. I'm like, yes, you little rascal Sick. in the smoke, and then that oh. sucks. Owie. <laughs> Just, you know, revenge. Eventually served. We do see at least the T-side back on a buy here. Ooh, okay, one for one. Shutting down Nico is a big scalp to take. Kadian's I think Kadian just get well. that. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Body looks like it's towards Stopper, so from main to Stopper, Tess is trying to stop the flame. Oh, Kenny. Flocker, Flocker. <laughs> Who knows there's more? Nades coming out now. T-side kind of pinned in. They don't have any flex anymore. They don't have any anchor point to work from. So they back away from this. They've done a great deal of damage. It is a 3v3. They've run the utility down to the ground for the CT side, but what do they have left themselves? One smoke, two flashes, and a molly. It's not impossible to build something back with this. Yeah, their best bet is just to go towards the inner bomb site and use the utility you just mentioned there to go for a simple execute. Just get a low ramp smoke down, or you could go one through in the middle of the lanes and have Kenny post up covering off towards connector. But either way, you want to go and try and trade out efficiently. But taking a look at the radar, guess what? Tessus is there. He has an org. He's in connector. And for info, well, that was Bora. He's gone down. This could be massive. Oh, Tessus. The long range <laughs> spam. I thought he had it. I was 100% sure he had that, but now it's down. Watch, Should be okay. Watch the one tap. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not ready for that at go. all. Okay. <laughs> Sound saves the day. It's the heroics from Tessus, though, with that spray. 15 on the board now for Heroic. It's certainly not G2's day. This is, however, Heroic's pick. And a quick recap of that Vito. You, you heard Malik kind of alluding to a, a different looking Vito. And well, we do get to see Inferno as a third. That is a surprise. Mm. Haven't seen these teams face off on Inferno once this year. God, I thought we had that final. Well, at least not the last three months when it became relevant. You know what's going to be crazy is if Heroic come out the gate on Invertigo and they don't do any fakes, they just go all in. They just and then the five of them are there and they're all just taking jewels because they they get <laughs> to the mind game. I'm so yeah, ready for a forth. Virgo game, man. I haven't cast it's Virgo it, right? like in weeks. <sighs> what we're looking for and it's what we're heading to in one round's time. I think with these weapons we have left on G2 and just how good Heroic have looked on their CT side here and down with a leg shot. Uh, well. Hold up. Maybe there will be one extra round left in this. That's a lot of damage to be done early. It is. Borob can deny that main control. That's a team molly, but he smokes and they push. Wow, this is a big exchange of util. Oh! That's a fire favors, Jax. Good awareness there. Yeah, funny exchange. With the Ivy Smoker landing, or rather to stop her, he throws out his own Ivy. Does make things difficult for the Ivy players. Gosh, kadian has got a lot to deal with here. He knows... It's not as safe. That works, though. Does expose himself to mains, down to fill the gap, and oh, it's Tessus' org again. Starting to pose more and more of a threat, seeing more and more players start to find comfort with the scoped rifle. And Nico arrives exactly when he needs to. He's a wizard, and Heroic have done it. 16 to 7.